are at the Doral chapter of the Miami Music Project, teaching music initiation class. Uh, myself and Dr. Kathy Benedict uh, teach this class for the young children, four to seven year olds, coming in, learning their first little bits of music. Do it again, do it again. We're participating here in this project, the Miami Music Project which um, is trying to, it comes actually very interestingly from um, a program that's called El Sistema, the first initiated in Venezuela in, um, in the 70s. A guy called Jose Abreu developed that and this became part of the Venezuelan government. And, they, and actually the idea is the idea of musicking, right, and engaging with music through doing. That's, that's, music doesn't happen unless you're actually actively engaged with it. But Abreu was also very interested in the possibilities of music as a social um, element, and particularly as a, as a kind of a communal and societal transformational element. And, and that, that, that is in many ways what we're interested in. So many of the things that you see going on in this lesson are really sophisticated musical moments that might not appear that way. But for a four-year-old and a five-year-old, developmentally, to keep a steady pulse and to say words and to move through this musically structured time is so incredibly sophisticated that I, that's when I think, oh my gosh, they're doing it. In this classroom, we're teaching the little kids different musical aspects using songs and games and trying to teach them these basic elementary things to internalize it in their bodies when they don't know what's happening, probably they're just having a great time. I think that we stop expressing ourselves musically when the music teacher says, you can't sing, don't sing. So I, I think that's one of the worries I have about music and in children's lives is that we do a very good job of preventing people from being musical. But we are musical.